today I'm reviewing the Sunday Riley Juno Antioxidant and Superfood Face Oil. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, check my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, so one of these Sunday Riley oils that I have not reviewed yet. I think I've reviewed several of the other ones. Uh, the CEO Glow. The Luna, I haven't reviewed, I don't think the UFO oil. For some, they've always they've messed around with that, so I don't know. That one, a mm, little iffy on that one. So, Anyway, okay. Achieve velvety soft skin with Juno Antioxidant Superfood Face Oil from Sunday Riley. Infused with botanically active blend of superfood seed oils and antioxidants, this nourishing face oil protects and brightens skin, unveiling a healthy glow. Do I have a healthy glow? I've been using it, so... Okay, in terms of the packaging, we've got the standard dropper bottle packaging, not too exciting. Seems like they spend more on the box it comes in sometimes than the actual bottle, but anyway. In terms of alcohol, this does not contain any denatured or drying types of alcohol. Then we get to fragrance, and they mention in the packaging and the marketing that this has fragrance free. It does have a light scent to it. And I've noticed some people with very sensitive noses can't use this because of that. I believe the scent is coming from the black cumin seed oil. Uh, it isn't a fragrance ingredient. Uh, it's more of a beneficial plant oil, but it does have a natural scent to it. And there are some beneficial ingredients that have fragrance. Not everything that has a scent is bad. Vanillin, aloe, honey, all, they all have a natural scent to them um, without being irritating for skin. Uh, so your skin most likely won't have any issues with that, but if you have very sensitive nose or just prefer nothing that has a scent, then I'm not penalizing them for this because it's a good ingredient that just has a natural scent as a byproduct. And some, some uh, derivatives of black cumin oil uh, can be not great for skin, but those are such a small percentage. I think they have to be like distilled out of it, so I'm not holding this against them. In terms of the manufacturing location, this one is made in the U.S., so no issues with that. Ease of use. So I've been using two to three drops uh, on my face at the very end of my skincare routine. Right after I apply like my sleeping pack or my last step, I'll apply a few drops of the oil on that and kind of emulsify it a bit on my skin. Um, another option is you can mix one to two drops with your moisturizer. Personally, I find this to be pretty emollient, so I did not find using this in the daytime was very, um, didn't work very well. So uh, that's why I prefer using this in my evening routine. In the daytime, it just did not, it was too emollient. It's very hydrating, and even just one to two little drops are enough to do your entire face. So I, I would say I don't even use two to three full drops. But it is uh, super slippery and very, very hydrating. So that's not even one full drop. That's like half a drop. So that's why a bottle like this will last probably all winter for me. So, yeah, it takes a while to dry down. But otherwise, I didn't have any other issues. It seemed to play well with other products. It really worked well as the last step on my sleeping pack. So no issues at all with ease of use. Then we get to antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So we've got quite a few here. So blackberry seed oil, which is a good antioxidant and emollient. It's comprised mo uh, partially of oleic acid and then linoleic acid and then linolenic acid. And so we've got also is comprised a little bit of vitamin E. So it's a great emollient and barrier repair uh, ingredient and helps phytosterols. It also, it contains skin identical ingredients, squalane and antioxidant carotenoids. So blackberry seed oil, very good for your skin. Then we've got blueberry seed oil, another great antioxidant and emollient. Cranberry seed oil, which is also a great emollient, antioxidant, and it's loaded of fatty acids. It contains anti-inflammatory omega-3, omega-6, and also skin nourishing omega-9. It also has a high vitamin E content and significant antioxidant properties. 
Then we've got red raspberry seed oil, another great emollient, grape seed oil, which is a good polyphenol rich light emollient oil and also contains antioxidant polyphenols, barrier repair fatty acid, linoleic, and antioxidant skin protecting vitamin E. Then we've got carrot seed oil. So carrot seed oil is interesting. There are some products out there that are just carrot seed oil. I think a few K-Beauty products that I have. And carrot seed oil can refer to two types of oil that can be both extracted from carrot seeds. The essential oil, which is 0.08% of the yield, and the fixed oil, which is about 7.84% of the yield. I assume that Sunday Riley, since they refer to this as fragrance-free, I assume that they're using the unfragranced part of that oil. I assume. Um, so... And such, since it's such a small amount, I don't think they would use the uh, fragrant essential oil of it. Um, so carrot seed oil can be a source of beta carotene, antioxidants, and it also has antifungal properties. Then we've got that black cumin seed oil, which I mentioned, which is a good antioxidant, emollient, source of fatty acids, amino acids, and also has anti-inflammatory properties. Broccoli seed oil, emollient and skin conditioning ingredient, metal foam seed oil, uh, which is a good ingredient, which is a good fatty acid composition. And, uh, and it also has antioxidant components such as vitamin E as well as phytosterols. So a lot of good oils in here. They're all pretty good for beneficial and being good antioxidant ingredients. So uh, this one has impressed me with Sunday Riley. You know, I never quite know what to think about this brand ever since they had their whole fake review scandal. I mean... If you make good products, let them stand for themselves and you don't have to write fake reviews. I don't know. It's like with criminals and things like, I don't know, some of the, some of these criminals are so smart, like the uh, phishing and the computer scandal things that they can do. They're so smart. I think they could make that much money if they got a real job. Maybe not. I don't know, but whatever. Totally digressing. So I don't, when some people are that smart, I really think you could make more money just doing your own thing, but. Anyway, okay, in terms of animal testing, this product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. In terms of performance, I'm loving this. I started adding this into my routine a couple months ago uh, when it started to get cold. And then it warmed up for a while, and now that's getting cold again. Like one or two drops is enough to keep my skin feeling super hydrated. Uh, it feels so nice. It absorbs while I sleep. No issues with breakouts, and it's very friendly for acne-prone skin as well. So there were no really no real ingredients to note for acne-prone skin, unless you have a specific issue with one of them. So, okay, in terms of price, so it's expensive. So 0.5 ounces is thirty-six dollars, or you can get the one point one eight ounce size for seventy-two dollars. Makes it not super affordable. However, a little bit of it goes such a long way. I think this entire bottle would probably last me all of winter. So, I mean, literally, I think I probably, I say two to three drops, but I probably actually really am using like one drop. And it's just so emollient and it spreads so easily. So, first I didn't find it to be ridiculously expensive since one little bottle will last a long time. In terms of the it factor... Really like this one. It's a great oil for everyone except those with very sensitive noses because it does have a bit of a scent. Very friendly for acne prone as well as dry skin. Uh, not as fast absorbing as Sunday Riley may market it, like a fast, super light oil. It's kind of heavy and it takes a while to absorb, uh, but uh, it also seems to be pretty friendly for eczema prone skin or dry skin in the winter. So I really like this one. And I gave it a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing some of you guys have tried this one. And I'm interested in hearing your guys' thoughts. Because I know the opinions on this one seem to be all over the place. So I'm really interested in hearing what your guys' thoughts are. And if you've loved it or didn't like it. Or if you just couldn't get past that scent. So uh, definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for the awards show uh, later this week. Be sure to check it out. And thank you so much.